20 Amazing Yoshi Ideas in Mario Maker 2. Our first ideas come from the course The Yoshi Not Ridden by Four Winks. Luigi is a slender fellow. Sometimes he just can't pull his own weight. In this first idea, he needs to figure out how to tilt this heavy seesaw without dying to this muncher to get into a secret pipe. Once he finds Yoshi and returns, he can step on the muncher on the seesaw to reach sweet, sweet secrets. One lesser known mechanic in the Super Mario World style is the fact that Yoshi's tongue distance changes if you hold down while licking. When holding down, he can grab items that are a little bit further away. To move forward in this one, Luigi needs to eat this faraway enemy by dropping on a donut block while holding down and licking. Everyone knows if you paint a dinosaur red, it gives the dinosaur fire abilities. In this one, Red Yoshi needs to spit some flames to hit a bob -omb. If he times it perfectly, the bob -omb will hesitate in air and destroy these pesky hard blocks. Frozen coins are basically hard blocks with the ability to melt and reveal delicious gold underneath. In this one, Luigi needs to figure out how to shoot fire upward with Red Yoshi to jump through. If he can find a fire flower and stand in just the right spot, he can snipe the frozen coin block to open the path forward. Yoshi can give Luigi the amazing ability to double jump. If he's in the air, he can press Z to drop Yoshi safely and gain more height. For this idea, Luigi finds a spiked helmet and explores the area to find a normally unreachable on-off switch, smashes through the hard block, and activates it with his head. Our next two ideas come from the mind of Aristotle. These are not in any levels I've seen, so feel free to use them in yours. What do you get when you combine a red Yoshi with a Lakitu cloud? You get a mean green, uh, or red fighting machine. In this one, Luigi needs to avoid the twister while he tries to attack the unreachable Ludwig. He also needs to make sure to grab a new cloud before his expires. If Luigi can snag that fire flower, it gives his fiery friend triple projectiles to beat Ludwig and win the fight. This next one's inspired by the lovable game Hungry Hungry Hippos. This Hungry Hungry Yosho needs to eat as many Magikoopas as he can to get a key and leave the arena. The Magikoopas add an element of randomness so that each match will be different. This idea could also be great as multiplayer versus minigame or as a clear condition type of course with a timer. The following ideas come to us from the level Stop Yoshi Hammer Time by Chris. Hammer Bros are easily the most annoying enemy in the game. In this idea, we get to steal their powers and embrace our evil side. Luigi, with the help of his green buddy, can lick up hammers and snipe his enemies through walls. The speed of Yoshi can even affect how far the hammer flies. Luigi gets stuck when coming across certain barriers like bumpers. In order for him to move through certain areas, he needs to drop Yoshi through the bumper and meet him on the other side. If Yoshi can grab a mighty hammer beforehand, Luigi can use it to destroy the final piranha plant and finish the course. These next excellent ideas come from the course The Great Egg Robbery by Ragnarok X. Yoshi himself is an amazing course element, but he also has a side that's often overlooked. In this idea, we need to bounce Yoshi's egg using on-off conveyors and trampolines. If the egg drops, it will be crushed and Luigi will have to start all over. If the egg gets through though, it pushes an off-screen seesaw that drops a bullet blaster down to reveal a secret door. Yoshi's egg is a natural born pilot. It can commandeer Koopa Clown cars and fly toward Luigi. In this one, Luigi needs to figure out how to drop the egg from one car to another, make it travel across the room and get the egg to drop into a hole that gives him a key. The night airship theme allows Yoshi's egg to move in low gravity while Luigi stays normal. To keep the egg from breaking and falling, Luigi needs to pick up this spring and find the perfect spot to drop the trampoline. Make sure the egg can bounce all the way to the left. One of the most underutilized features for enemies and items is the parachute. Luigi needs to get the egg across the screen using a twister connected to this on off switch. If he can figure out the movement of the falling parachute egg, he can use the twister to hit it against one-way gates and gradually move it across the screen to the goal. 
The next skeletal idea comes from the course Super Dry Bones World by Hylurance. Yoshi's favorite snack is some delicious bones. He can lick up a dry bones enemy and spit three bone projectiles out in a cone formation. In this idea, Yoshi spits the bones while Luigi frantically runs forward to keep them from despawning. If done right, the bone will kill an enemy at the end and give Luigi the key. The next mysterious idea comes from a course, Where is Yoshi? by Mr. Elliot. A cool mechanic with Yoshi's egg is that if two Yoshis are already spawned somewhere, all other eggs will be empty. In this idea, Luigi needs to find his friend Yoshi to satisfy the clear condition, but all the eggs he comes across are empty due to off-screen Yoshis. Once he makes his way through the course, he finally reunites with his green buddy to finish the level. The next five ideas come from the level Yoshi's Spiked World 1-1 by Lopez. Yoshi can eat and keep certain projectiles in his mouth to reuse later. In this one, he needs to lick up a spike ball and spit it out to hit a block. Once the block is spinning, it allows this pipe to spawn giant spike balls to bust through the wall and open the path forward. The most typical way to activate a question mark block that's on the ground would be to grab a Koopa shell and hit it from the side. Well, in this one, Luigi can have his pal Yoshi grab a spike ball and spit it to do the same thing. This is a great way for Luigi to discover power-ups and rewards. If Yoshi carries a spike ball with him, he can use it to hit on-off switches that are otherwise unable to be hit. In this one, he needs to use careful timing to spit at the perfect moment to roll on platforms and make the switch. Yoshi's tongue has magical properties in certain styles. He can grab pal blocks through the ground and spit them at enemies. In this idea, he needs to carefully grab the pals and spit them to destroy obstacles in a narrow tunnel. Yoshi's final test requires him to take down the Spike Brothers. These evil bosses fill the arena with pokey spike balls to stab our heroes. If Luigi can help Yoshi bring small spike balls up top, he can spit them through a bumper and hit pals to defeat this gruesome twosome once and for all. On April 1st, 2020, one of Mario Maker's beloved heroes went missing. Our dear friend Blue Toad was last seen admiring a clear pipe before he disappeared. According to rumor, Blue Toad went to see where the pipe leads and never returned. After over a year, he is finally nearing the end. Let's watch to see if he can make it out alive. Okay, this is taking a while. What should we do to kill some time? I know, let's celebrate our 25,000 subscribers on YouTube by doing a Q&A while we wait for Toad to reach the end. Question one from Airly Animations. Why did you stop YouTube for four months and now come back? Well, you see, I became a dad. I have a daughter now. She's a little over three months old. So that would account for the time that I've been away. Uh, I had to figure out how to be a good dad. That's always number one priority for me. Be a great dad. Make sure I'm doing my job to the best of my ability. I have a full-time job also. And then YouTube comes after. Question two from Aled Tham 2018. What Mario game is your absolute favorite? I would say Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are my absolute favorite games. They're just so amazing. I just love the mechanics of the different planets and all of the different ideas thrown in there. I feel like there's just so much to offer. And especially with Galaxy 2, there's so much replayability value in there. I just had so much fun playing those games. Question three comes from Riley Shaw. Do you find any games particularly bad or super mediocre? I don't have any games that come to mind right away, except for any games that are pay to win or, you know, those mobile games that they're like, oh, unlock this heart by paying $5 so you can see the next level. I absolutely hate that type of thing. I feel like if you have a game, you should be able to play it regardless of how much money you put in after you already got the game, whether that's you paid full price for it or you got a free game. Like, throw some ads on it, but don't don't ruin it like that. Question four is from Men's Chayong. What are you looking forward to with video creation? I'm just excited to be able to be creative and make fun stuff and help you guys out. That's what I want to make sure I'm doing, making content that actually helps you guys enjoy the game more, because that's the kind of content that I want to watch. 
is the educational slash funny how to get better or learn more about the game kind of content. Question five from Magalore the Betrayer. Favorite Mario Party game? I would say Mario Party 2 was my favorite. I remember going to Blockbuster, yeah, back when Blockbuster was a thing, and renting Mario Party 2 and just having a blast playing this game. And there were those partners that you could have. I thought that was just amazing that you could have a little sidekick that played the game with you. It was just super fun. Question six from Jimmy Jammy Dodger. You were in Manx Ninja Pig's video, did you know that? Yes. Question seven from Archman X. What is your favorite enemy to use in level making? My favorite enemy is probably Spike, even though I don't have a video about it. <laughs> I feel like Spike Balls are so cool and can do so much. As an enemy, he can do cool things with the Spike Balls, but then also his Spike Ball is a whole nother thing too. Question eight comes from B.O.B. Do any of your students know about your channel? For those of you that don't know, I am a teacher, so that's where this question comes from. No, my students don't know about my YouTube channel, dreading the day that they figure it out. Hasn't happened yet. I will say I do have one student who graduated from my first year of teaching when I was at a different school who found the channel. He's been really cool about it and hasn't leaked it out to everybody else, so we're all good. Question nine comes from Cool Koopaling. Do you have any Mario Maker level codes for reviewers to play? I do. I'll put those on the screen right now if you guys want to check out any of that stuff. My maker code's right here. Um, I have about 17 levels uploaded. I like making ideas, but I don't ever finish levels, as weird as that is. Question 10 is from Manx Ninja Pig. When will Toad come out of the pipe? Hey, that's a good question. Let's check in on him right now. Oh my gosh, I think he's finally reaching the end. Here he comes! Oh, he made it out! Wait. What? Ah. <sighs>